I played with the, the drummer Christian. I know him back from Denmark. We, we play quite a lot together. I came across Mikko Enon and in a workshop I was in, in Tallinn in the spring with this Nomads course as well. We were, we were there and he was there as a teacher. So I got to hear him play a lot and see him. And I know some of his music, so I thought he was, I thought he was really great. And I talked to Christian about it, and he had been thinking about coming to play with, with Nico. So we figured we'd uh, do it together and see if we can get a studio because it's such an. Uh, great and inspiring musician to be around and and then we figured we'd do it as a free improvisation session so that we could uh, spend as much time on just uh, playing together Now I'm starting to learn that thing with the shirt so well that I, that I know how it sounds so I can use it in a musical way. Right when I learned it, I did it all the time. I thought it was so cool. But now I might, uh, I'm trying to restrict myself a little bit. Like only use it when I really feel it can do some good <laughs> to the music. But the thing about this playing, being, playing free as well, also did so we could be as relaxed as possible in the studio. Like we didn't have the pressure of making 10 songs that we needed to. We could just relax a little bit and have fun and play when and how we felt like at the moment and just enjoy, enjoy playing the music. I think it's running on the spot, at least that's what it's called. It kind of feels like it. it's not really, not really going anywhere in a good way. I mean, it's a... I mean, 
mean, the the thing is, when it's uh, we're playing this kind of jazz standards that has, uh, or, or other tunes that has the melody and the chord changes or a specific groove, when the best people play it, they always play it like it's uh, like with a lot of energy and with very much attention and like it's uh, yeah, in the spiritual way. But there is a danger of just uh, taking the, just kicking back and just playing and and not 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 really caring. No, you can just do what you've done for in a thousand times. But well, well, this free thing really forces you to be completely uh, focused and and aware when you're playing. You can't just do what you did yesterday. Oh, you can, but that that will that will take the whole purpose away. And that's also why, for example, we wanted to be in the. We needed to be in the same room when we played, because we needed that. Uh, we need. We're so dependent on the, on like the interaction and the contact with each other, especially when if if we had played a song. Uh, that was written before, it would have been easier for us to be in the, because in the different rooms, because we kind of knew what would have been going on in the, uh, but right now we needed to be close to each other so we could feel each other instantly and not, not through the headphones, but like both physically and, and visually. And In one way, it puts more stress on the in the situation. Yeah, because it means you have, we have to make everything up, and we have to be, and we can't edit anything. But on the other hand, if we had played a song that we knew how we want to sound before we started to play it, then there's a lot of options for mistakes, or this wrong chord, or the melody was wrong. But who's to say what what's wrong in, in what we played? I mean, we can just. Uh, like we want it to be as good as possible, but if we just like lean back and ac accept what comes out and what happens, and not and not uh, dealing too much with, with the mistakes, then it's just uh, cool. I mean, when I listen back to recordings, there's a lot of stuff where I think, oh, oh, that would have been nice if I had if I had done this or done some cool stuff there. But but it, but I try to just accept what I played right when I played it and be happy with that. No editing afterwards. In a way it's more stressful, but in another way it's actually very relaxing. There's no, there's no solution. You can't, you, you can't, uh, if you have a song, you know exactly how it sounds the best. That's, that could be stressful as well, I think. or even more. When I play this kind of music, the focus gets, becomes more on the sound itself then on the note, what, what, what note it is, what chord it is, on more on this is this sound, and I want this sound now, so that's why I play in, in this area of the piano, and not now I play a bass note, now I play a chord, now I play a melody. It's, it's more sound oriented. So I'm not thinking and thinking theoretically, oh, this chord fits with this chord and this melody on top of this is cool. And, but thinking more about sound, and the, I think the, the, those things with the percussion and stuff, that's all part of it. Like you can hear Miko doing uh, call all the other overtones and stuff. And it's just another part of the instrument of the sound universe. And really good for creating different moods. <laughs> 